city administration and, and this community has been focused on our front door pride program, which really detail, dovetails with uh, the Evansville Arts District. And we want to use uh, Haney's Corner as really kind of the anchor to renovate and rejuvenate uh, this entire neighborhood here in Evansville. Um, what we have laid out as our vision really does kind of follow uh, the new urbanism philosophy that Robert Orr is champion. And so it's pretty exciting to have Mr. Orr here in Evansville to help us get into some more details about how we accomplish our goals uh, here in the Haney's Corner area. I'm here at the request of the city to uh, look at the Arts District and to teach people about the tenets of good urban development and new urbanism and smart growth and how those tenants might be applied to make this a better place. He's made a name for himself as an architect and city planner and it informs our project right here uh, at Haney's Corner, the Evansville Arts District at Haney's Corner that we're trying to get jump started to revitalize this part of town. We're kicking off the program the first of the year. The website is about complete. It'll go live this month and then that's it. We're into the game. We're looking for people to come and we're trying to get them to reinvest and come back to this neighborhood. To your left is the greenhouse with a side yard that we have available as an incentive for somebody. And for those people who say, well, what about my neighborhood, you know, we'll get to their neighborhood. It becomes a model for the next place. There are cities in the last 20 to 25 years where their urban core has been completely reinvigorated. They look just like Evansville in some of these old inner city neighborhoods, even worse, and they've been completely reborn, and we can do that right here for this entire community. It'll take time and effort, but this is the start of that process. You know, my goal is to make it the finest place to live in all of Evansville, and we can do that. It's, you know, I know it sounds like pie in the sky, but it's absolutely not. Just point out things that uh, people have taken for granted for a long time and don't question and get them to look at them with different eyes and see the potential that's here that, that maybe isn't so obvious. What's unique about it is that it's got such a varied um, a uh, group of houses. There are great big houses next to very little houses, and so it suggests that it uh, has a history of uh, mixed income, which is unheard of today. What it's all about is, is understanding the, the uniqueness of a particular area and finding the good points of that, of that uniqueness, and then turning that into uh, regulation for um, uh, the new things that happen, so that they they reflect the spirit and character of the place.